Hello! How's everybody doing? It's Jules, I'm back. Um, so you haven't seen my face in a while. Um, and I'm coming at you today with my March wrap up and my April TBR. Woo! So let's just get started with the wrap up books, yeah! Okay, so first up, the, the first book that I read in March. Me, was The Seven Years Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. I, I hate this book. You can check it out on Goodreads. I absolutely hated this book so much. It had so much potential and then just... Pss, no! Why, Melinda? Why? This is so bad. It's just... <coughs> like, no, 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 no. And then the ending was so confusing. Like, I was just... What? Can I get some explaining? And I will definitely not be reading the sequel at all. It was really, really bad. <laughs> Alright, next book. Okay, so the next book I read was The Archive by Victoria Schwab. Again, a library book, so I don't exactly have it, because I returned it a long time ago. But the, my point is, I liked it up until the plot twist, and then I didn't really like it, but it, overall I enjoyed it, and I will be reading the sequel, just to find out what happens, and yeah. But it was good! I, I, um, I got introduced to Victoria Schwab, or V.E. Schwab, or whatever her name is, and that was really cool, and she's really good. Um, she's a really good writer. Um, uh, it was, it was good. Um, and I was like, yeah! A lot of OTP stuff, and then, um, but yeah, anyways, um, that was, it was good, I'm going to read The Unbound, just to see how it ends, if it doesn't end there, I will be reading the rest of the series, because it was good. Okay, so, um, next book I read is another library book, um, so again, don't have it, I will put it somewhere here, I don't know how to do that, I will learn how to do that, um, but it was really good. I, I I read Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. I loved it so much. In the beginning I wasn't really hooked, but then like I got really I got hooked. And then oh my god, I loved it. It was really good. I love the um, action scenes. I love how different bleh, I loved how different um, Rosie and Scarlet were. And so that was pretty cool. And yeah, so um, I do recommend that book, and I definitely will be reading the rest of the fairy tale retellings by Jackson Pierce because I did like that a lot. I would have liked it a lot better if it was from a third person point of view, but um, but hey, it was good nonetheless. Okay, the next book I read, which I actually have a copy of, is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I love this book so, so freaking much. It was amazing. So, like, just read it. It was really good. I loved Wade. Wade is amazing. I love Artemis. I love every single person in this book so much. Yeah, so this is amazing. Please read. Okay, so the second to last book that I read was The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Maas, and oh my god, I loved it so much. I read this at the Amtrak station and on the Amtrak until like 9. And it was really good. I loved it. I ne I rarely took a break from it except for dinner, which was like an hour. So yeah, it was so amazing, and I cried because you know ah, the last one. But yeah, and <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. I loved it a lot. And I'm going to I'm so excited for Empire of Storms. You have no idea. I just want it to come out now. Um. But I will be reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury really soon because they don't have it at my library, so I'm gonna have to buy it, which is gonna cost me money. But I can maybe <laughs> convince my dad because you know he buys me a lot of bo my books. But um, I'm gonna read that in uh, definitely A Court of Mist and Fury when it uh, comes out. If I like A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I probably will, probably will. But yeah, so I'm yeah. This book was great, recommended, um, I, you should read this, um, if you're gonna start the Throne of Glass series now, I recommend reading this first, cause this is like, 
before the Throne of Glass book actually happens, so you get like a more insight into Selena's life. And yeah, so this was amazing. I loved it. I read it in like five hours. <laughs> oh god, I was such a reading freak that day. And then I, I've been in a reading slump, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so this is a great book. Recommend. Speaking of Throne of Glass, I ordered some Throne of Glass bookmarks on Amazon, and they came in, and they're so pretty. Focus. Um, there we go. So it's like has that, and then does that. So it's really cool. It's awesome. I love it a lot. And I have them for all four of the books, except for the um, Assassin's Blade. But I kind of want one for Empire of Storms, because, you know, that's going to be awesome and break my soul. But, yeah. And it's just, they're so cool. And I love them a lot. I forget the person who is on Amazon that made these, but I highly doubt you're watching this, but if you are, like, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. These are beautiful, and I probably will not use them in books. They're just going to be decorating my shelf. Yeah, so, final book that I read. And the final book I read this month, I mean, Mar in March, was Asylum by Madeline Rokes. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Ro Rokes. Eh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but oh my god, I loved it so much. This was great. It kept me on the edge of my seat. It was a great read from 9 p.m. until 12 a.m. on the Amtrak. I'm sorry, I read the last this and the last two books. This the 12 hours. <laughs> Oops. And then I ran out of reading material. But I, I had the Kindle app. So I just started reading Shatter Me and I can't really read it on my phone. I have to have a physical copy. So I'm gonna do that soon, probably. But oh my god, Jordan was my favorite character. If you do not know this book, Jordan is a sassy. Like, he's really sassy. And he, um, and the reason why, like, <laughs> he's a really sassy gay boy. And I love him so much. He's like my precious little baby. And I just wanted him to survive, which he did, so I was very, very happy about that. Actually, like, very few people died, which was good for me. <laughs> and I, the only person I really got emotionally attached to was, um, was Jordan, so I'm glad he survived. And, oh my god, this book had so many creepy pictures. Not even kidding. Like, let me find one. Where's the creepy pictures? No, there are some. Here we go! Creepy pictures! <laughs> right? But yeah, they were so cool, so awesome. I love the ending. I'm going to be reading like the um, sequels and novellas and novels and stuff like that in this series because it was so good. I loved it a lot. And I definitely recommend this if you like paranormal books, and I'm a huge fan of paranormal things. So this book was awesome. Alright, now to on to my TBR. Woo! Okay, so the first book that I'm going- the, uh, These aren't in any particular order except for the first one because I've already started reading it. But the first one I'm going to be reading is Illuminati by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Not Illuminati, okay? Please. Just no Illuminati. I get so many jokes that my friends, I do not need anybody else. But yeah, this book, it's so cool because um, it's Alien Invasion. And it's written in like emails and documents, and the two main people are a um, girl named girl people um, girl named Katie and a boy named Ezra, and they're really cool. It's in the future, twenty five seventy five, I think. Uh, yeah. Um, but let me find like that weird poster that I found. I want that in my room actually, and I know this sounds creepy, but I want it like in my room because this is a really good book. Go. Well, there's a lot of them. Like, I want, like, I don't know if I want that poster. There's, like, a one that tells you about safety, and it's really cute. I want that one in my room. I want that one really badly, because that's really cute, and this is a good book. Oh, okay, there's the blood splatter. Nice. Found it. I want this in my room. I want it really badly. It's so cute. Like, I just want it, and people are gonna be like, what the heck? 
What the heck, Jules? What are you? Why is this in your room? Like, look. Um, but yeah, it's so cool, and I love the format. Um, it's a really cool format. I love all of it so far. It's gotten really creepy, like really, really creepy. And I'm like halfway through, but it's so creepy. And yeah, but it's awesome. Definitely recommend it so far. Um, and yeah, so this is the first book I'm going to be reading, and I'm probably going to be finished with, like, you know, by tomorrow. Depends on how interested, and, like, I'm just going to go through reading book. Like, probably could have finished this already, but I don't know. March was, like, my really big month. And then April's not. But we will find out at the end of the month, right? Um, okay, so next book. My next book second book is Daughter is Spoken By by Lady Taylor. I've heard this is really good and again I have a copy because it was like four dollars so I was like hey why not I love you books a million um and yeah so gonna read this I've delved into it um could probably gonna reread the little part that I really that I already read um to get a sense of completion and there's no, when I bought it, I heard something about it, but there's no synopsis on it. There's no synopsis. It says, Who is the daughter of Smoke and Bone from Master Storyteller and National Book Mill? Book Award finalist Lainey Taylor comes with sweeping and gorgeously written modern fantasy about forbidden love, an ancient and epic battle, and a hope for a world remade. It does not give you anything about this book, so I'm going into it knowing nothing, and I'm really excited. And a lot of my friend, my friend Tiffany, she's been like, oh yeah, you should read it, you should read it, because she was reading it. And, yeah, so, woohoo, daughter smoking bone, I really wanna get in on the bandwagon. Yeah. Ow! Uh, I hit my funny bone. And the final book I will be reading in March is Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. I've heard this wasn't, well, I've heard from different sources. I've heard from Sasha, aka Bookutopia, that it's really good. But I've heard from Pierre Ford, Pierre from Pierre Ford, that it's not that good. So I'm gonna see for myself. And yeah, so I am excited. And the cover is beautiful. Like, look at that. I love the covers, okay? The covers are probably the best part of the book. Hope you all enjoy, comment, um, questions for my 30 subscriber QA, please, or I'm gonna bump it up to like 40 or 50. Because I need more questions! I've gotten like a few from my friends verbally, but I need some from you! I need, like, if you want to know something about me, ask! Like, just please! I need some! I've gotten like one qu- two questions- three questions! Technically four, but I've gotten like three questions. One- Techni- if you want to go be all technical with the four, two of them are from my- one of my friends, and then the other two, uh, two are from the same person, which is basically who's your favorite Marvel superhero and who's your favorite DC superhero. Like, don't get me wrong, I love superheroes, but I need more than superhero stuff. Like, I need book things. I need, like, things about me. Like, you know, like, I'm not gonna give you how old I am or where I live and stuff, but I'm gonna be like, tell you, like, oh, hey, you know, like, what's my favorite subject? Like, what is my favorite subject? You know, stuff like that. Um, am I an artist? Am I a writer? Can I read your writing? You know, like, stuff like that. Um, but please, just, just do it. Um, and, yeah, so that's all I have for today. I'll see you later. Bye! My name is, no, my son is, no, my number is, no, you need to let it go. You need to let it go. You need to let it go. No to the ah uh, to the no no no.